Welcome back to another action figure review. In this review, we're going to be taking a look at the new 118 scale Joy Toy Military Dogs 2 pack. This is a 2 pack of two German Shepherds. This is Joy Toy's uh, new adventure into having your pets or a military companion in your 118 scale Joy Toy action figure line. Now, for me, I do love to have the uh, canine companion. Growing up with G.I. Joe is one of my favorite toy lines. You've always had your Snake Eyes and Timber, which is a wolf. You had Spirit and Freedom, which is an eagle. You had Spearhead and Max, which is a bobcat. You even had uh, uh, the bad guys. Cobras had a croc master and a crocodile. You had Voltar with a black buzzard, I believe. And some more of the G.I. Joes, for example, like Law and Order... Uh, mutton junkyard but the joes seem to have more of the uh animal companions than cobra did always love to see like i always wanted like a tagger maybe with storm shadow that would have been really awesome um maybe something like that could happen in the future so with the military dogs here for jewel toy you can add these to your you know world two line for your germans you can add these to u.s soldiers uh, you can add them pretty much to anything you want but um these are basically designed for a military opera uh, application you know so here's the packaging that they come in they come wrapped in the plastic wrap like almost all of the uh toys with products so we'll go ahead and remove that and then we'll take a look at the packaging itself all right with the plastic removed here's the front of the box um we have scale 118 on the top left we have joy toy on the top right we have some nice artwork of the two canines there in the center one sitting one in a more dramatic pose and we have a military dog beside that one the top of the box we just have military dog this side of the box we have warning not for children on age of three this product is not a toy it's all collectible recommended for ages 17 and up AUPC if that helps you for any reason on the top of the box we got a joy toy on the bottom of the box we got a joy toy back of the box we have military dog the scale 118 some Chinese military military dog um, product information the plastic and so forth here we have uh, the company information a gold QR code and a gold joy toy logo then we have a little statement from joy to joy toy there I recommend you highly read that pause and read it that way you know it gives you a little bit of information about how to handle your uh, your new military dogs other than that it looks really good so let's take a second, and since this is the very first attempt at a canine companion, so we'll take a look at the comparisons for the figures to the packaging for their canines. Here's the new Rise and Rego packaging. You see how that fares. So, about the same thickness. Yeah. That's how they stand. And then here is the Fang Min boxes. So we have the three different style box type for a nice packaging comparison. So there is actually a window style packaging with Velcro on the top here. We're also with the two pictures of the two canines. That looks really, really cool. So Velcro here. And then we have two canines inside. Kind of dark in there. So let's get them out and see what they look like. So first thing I noticed, no product insert popped out at me. So they have done away with the product insert, at least for the canines. And here they are inside their clamshell. Don't see no tape or anything. They kind of look on the smaller side, in my opinion, first impressions. Very nice. Well, I guess they should have called these military puppies because they are relatively small. And you expect from a German Shepherd. This is definitely not on the quality of the Marauder Task Force, their canines. But let's take a look at them. So, uh, you know, it has the German Shepherd colors. It's a lot of darkness around the body than you would expect um, on a German Shepherd, but their color and patterns do vary. So, there's the top of it. So 
So for the articulation of this guy, we have, uh, so the head here spins 360. So there seems to be another part here that's attached to the, the joint. So there's a, there's a neck and a small piece. Then you have this collar piece, the collar is attached to this breastplate. And what's kind of unsightly is this. We have a huge square there hidden behind this piece of flappy fur. Yeah, that's not a good design in my opinion. So the neck does pivot up and down. The head does rotate 360. You can do it up and down. There is no mouth articulation at all. You can look down about that much. Wow. Um, there is no like fanning the paws out. Like if I wanted to bring them out for power stands, they're jointed straight to the plastic as you can see here. Then we have uh, a little bit of articulation here at this upper paw, the leg. We have a joint here. We'll call it the knee. And at the very bottom of the paw, we have a pivot down. Uh, boy, I'm not sure you're going to get any other rotations. It's very thin. Very, um, I don't see any way for the, anything to rotate 360 along the paw. Or in to bring out the paw on the front legs. There's an articulation here in the, in the chest. There's two pieces. Probably could pull that apart if you wanted to. You probably could spin that. Yep, you can spin that 360, which is weird, but you can get it done. The back legs are pretty much this same build, just have the bigger hind legs. Oh, pieces fell off. There's how that looks. A very small ball joint and you can see there's no way to fan them out like you know, if you wanted to do this so have articulation here which is super stiff articulation there and there at the, at the knee we're going to call it and then the bottom and let's hope that pops back in and it does the tail goes up about that much down that much wow so for this one, is <laughs> so that's the articulation. I must say, in a as of what I know right now, they got a long road ahead of them for their very first attempt for these dogs. They are uh, definitely not the proper scale. They are the overall design is not there. They're not even on the same level as the Marauder Task Force. So let's take a look at the other pup. This other pup has a tactical vest and some bags on the side whoops he's uh that's attached permanently does sculpt it on so that's a totally different body than this pup i'm gonna call them pups gonna see why here in a little bit yeah the articulation is the same it's just it's the way they look So these things retail. Yeah, prices are going up on George Way products. This seems to be this month for the new releases for uh, end of August, early September. They're looking thirty bucks now. These dogs are like thirty bucks, fifteen dollars a pup. I mean, the Marauder Task Force I think were maybe right, twelve dollars. Twelve ninety nine when they when they were available. Wow. Okay. So what we're gonna do is a special treat for you guys is we're gonna take a look at how the detail comparison with Joy Toy and Marauder Task Force. So here's a Marauder Task Force K9 German Shepherd. So I'll go through this. I'll do a small review for him since we uh, have some time for his head. His head is on ball joint. It does rotate 360 all the way around. Um, kind of got stuck there. The fur. It's the fur on the outside. He has mouth articulation. You can open it up. Paint it beautifully. Teeth, tongue. 
face looks great. Um, so we have the entire neck piece, the Spence 360, and this head does uh, move, but mine's kind of stiff because they're brand new. I haven't played with these things since I bought them a long time ago. Uh, so you can see on the paws here, you can fan them out. And they don't have as much joints as the Joy 21s they have here and at the paw. I'll call it the knee just for references points. And we can up that far. So they didn't over articulate their figures, but you can get that power stance if you want. And I know that head goes down. It's just stuck for some reason. Oh, there we go. So you can't put his head down. Very stiff. Um, he does have that same rotation in the, in the body. The tails do go up and down. You see the back legs have this pretty much articulation here. We have the knee and have the paw. So you can get you know your stance pretty good. But this is how the Marauder Task Force ones. And in my opinion, I think these outdo Joy Toy by a long shot. Especially for you no know, articulated mouth on those figures compared to our task force. You can buy the harnesses, leashes, collars, bones, ball, um, bones, bowls, all kind of tack gear to put on his vest and is removable. This one is not removable. So here is Joy Toy compared to Marauder Task Force. So that's how they stand in comparison. So should we give them a fair fight here? They're basically, Marauder Task Force is the parents of Joy Toy puppies. <laughs> so they're very small. That's how they look. The overall size of the body and the head is tremendously different, as you can see here. These could be miniature German Shepherds, they could be puppies, they could be a special breed in your uh, line for maybe, um, you know, tunneling or getting down in areas or a soldier can't versus a very larger German Shepherd. You can come up with something if you buy these like me and you kind of own them now, uh, you can find a place for them in your universe, but uh, they're definitely on a very small scale. Um, so here we got comparison with a couple of the recent figures. So they can see how small they are compared to uh, the Joy Toy, I mean the uh, Marauder Task Force. There's a male character just for uh, reference. So you have this guy that just really don't stand very well. I gotta have to get in there and get those paws right. And I'm knocking over my other figure. Okay, so here he is right there. So that's how he would look. Then if we swapped out this one, this one. See how that looks a little more correct. So, um, yeah, that's unfortunate. So they can sit relatively nice, I guess, for the most part. Um, this head pops off. So let's get an idea of the like, overall construction of this thing. Here's that centerpiece, and then you have the fur. And see that's where the square is coming from. That's that joint there. That looks like a knee joint. They actually used a knee joint for the neck. <laughs> that's very clever. See, that's how good they are using the same parts over and over again. It's a knee joint. I'll be, I would have never expected that. That's funny. Okay, I guess I see why it works the way it works. 
Guess not to uh, engineer any new joints, save money, charge your normal leg for these, and uh, yeah, business 101, I guess. All right, so let me go ahead and get these guys. I'll do a comparison with some of my other uh, Marauder Task Force canines just for fun, and uh, I'll be right back. Here is my uh, Cyber and Husky. Here is, I guess, one called the Wolf. And here we have our black German Shepherd. So, I wouldn't be surprised if you don't see repaints of these military dogs from Joy Toy, especially in the black German Shepherd version. So, that's how that looks. I have Finn Rear on here somewhere. I did a review for him if you want to check him out. Uh, so, but that's how they fare with Marauder Task Force. So, I highly recommend the Marauder Task Force over the Joy Toy. I'm not sure what's available anymore. These have been out for a while. Um, I got a couple of German Shepherds. I bought one with uh, the tack gear, one without. He must be someone with Finn Rear playing, chasing balls and stuff, but it got so much. Uh, stuff so I don't know where he's at uh, so except they're really highly priced I don't recommend them their articulation is bad it seems like we're talking like very beginner joy toy style the joints are kind of like reused parts from figures it feels like a doll general dog with a bunch of articulation the price is too much 10 bucks at the most. These are $30 at China. They're going to be 35 40 bucks here in the United States at retailers. I, Again, it's your money. Obviously, up to you. They're cool. They can have a place in the universe, but they're not in anywhere near on the level of quality of plastic uh, articulation and overall design as Marauder Task Force. So that's the, my information, my opinion. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this review. And you got it was knowledgeable for you to help you decide if you want to buy, you know, these new Joy Toy military dogs or even more Task Force if you can find them. Um, if you did, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to share and like the video. Comment down below if you have any questions. And as always, I want to uh, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in our next review.